Hey traders, what's up? This is Tosh. I go by tbradley90 in the MIC chat. Today we've got a really cool episode. Uh, one of our moderators, Aloha Trader in the MIC chat, talks about his rule of regret and a really cool take on the psychology of, you know, what traders should look for, but what specifically relates to him and how he kind of grades himself on the trading day. And while this is just a preview today, if you want to watch the full-length video or any of our other exclusive content, then all you got to do is become a member of the My Investing Club community. Hey everybody, Austin here. Wanted to do a special video today, but I had a really good idea uh, for a video, something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. This is a, I, I want to introduce a concept that, that I found out about myself. Um, that has really helped my trading. Uh, it has helped. It's helped my brain. It's helped my trading. Uh, it's it's a concept that helps me make decisions. In in the market, we make a lot of decisions. In the market, there's so many different. Uh, there's so many decisions we make day to, every single day that we don't even realize we're making. You know, like when we if we decide to locate this stock, if we decide to buy. What I'm going to be going over is probably my favorite tip, trick, nugget that I. It's probably my personal favorite tip, trick, nugget, whatever, however you want to call it. But it's, it's one of my favorite rules. It's a rule that I have. Um, and it's called the rule of regret. And th the rule of regret is what helps me to make uh, decisions every single day. And it's, a, it's almost in nature the art of all decision making, but it's very simplified. And it's really easy to, to relate to trading. And I, I want to go over some examples and s where you can use this kind of uh, tool um, to help you uh, get in the right mind to trade. So what is the rule of regret? The rule of regret is, um, is a rule that I found that helps me to um, decide what I want to do based on what I will regret the most and the least. So this, this, all, this all stems from one uh, underlying driver and the underlying driver behind this rule is at the end of the day I want to be able to say I strive to be able to say at the end of the trading day that I didn't regret any decision that I made I didn't I don't have any regrets about how I traded now of course not every day it's like that I make I have tons of regrets and you know you know, I'm, I never have perfect days. Some, sometimes they have perfect days, but not all days are perfect. But like, I strive to be perfect, you know? Like I, I want at the end of the day to be able to say, man, I wish I wouldn't have covered there. Man, I wish I wouldn't, I would have taken that trade. That to me meant that I wasn't true to myself. And that's all you can really ask for yourself is um, to be true to yourself. And trading is a game of, emotions right and the the assumption behind this driver of not wanting to regret decisions at the end of the day is uh, the assumption is if I regret a decision it's most likely an emotional decision the rule of regret states that you should take the action that will um, cause you the least um, regret so this can be applied in of so many different trading situations it's not even funny um, this can this can be should I locate this stock? It's pre market. I don't know if I'm even going to short it yet, but it's it, or it's kind of expensive. I don't know if I want to spend the money. Like I, I could just end up wasting it. Well, this is a classic scenario where you ask yourself the where the rule of regret comes into into play. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley ninety in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs and chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.